What's going on everyone? Sloppy Joe back here with another Sloppy Show and today we have a mail day video mixed with a hobby box opening. So I think it's I've been sporadic with the uploads. Don't know my schedule has been so hectic so maybe few weeks no see. Good to be back on YouTube. Um, I'm recording this on Friday, May 1st, and uh, the reason it has been pretty hectic with everything was, um, I mean, moving around from apartment to apartment um, uh, with the school uh, that I work at dictating um, where I live, still have a place provided on campus to live, but... Um, it's the la it's been the last few weeks of my master's program. Um, been in it for two years, and I've been accepted to the PhD program at my school. So uh, staying here, going right through completing that. But uh, I've been trying to focus on work and have my priorities straight. Um, next week, keep in mind this is on the f I recorded this on May first. Next week. From that, from when I'm currently recording this, I have a presentation on my master's thesis or professional contribution, uh, as it's called here, and I'm excited for that. Looking forward to it. Um, okay, my master's is in high. I will have my master's in, assuming everything goes according to plan, higher education administration, um, and working in higher ed is. Uh, with students um, on the college level, uh, teaching on the college level, like I said, working with these students. It's something that I enjoy because I had a unique college experience um, myself, and I like to think that I could help in some way when it comes to uh, shaping the experience of people in college with unique programs, unique events, initiatives, things like that, and giving advice where I can. Um, but enough of me rambling because it's already been two minutes we have stuff from Mail Day, and as you can see, 2013 Absolute Football. Before we get into the box, let's just go over what I got for the Mail Day. We have a James Washington two-color RPA. Can't remember if I mentioned this in the last video or not, but it came in since then. Um, he kind of started to heat up last year, or this, yeah, last football season, towards the middle to end of it, when... Uh, yeah, he started to heat up, so I figured, you know what? I got this for, like, five bucks on eBay. Why not? Another J.J. Ortega white side. Got this one for, uh, seven bucks. Three color, two color, 14 out of 20, or three color, three color, one color, 14 out of 25. Did, I actually, I actually, I actually loved the Eagles draft. I know a lot of people didn't, but... Jalen Rager is a stronger Deshaun Jackson who played with a pretty crappy quarterback in college. Um, so if he had Joe Burrow throwing to him, we wouldn't even... He'd be in the same league with Justin Jefferson, Henry Ruggs, etc. Uh, and then getting Jalen Hurts in the second round might have been a reach. But you get a quality backup quarterback for Wentz who is not breathing down his throat. He is not a Super Bowl MVP that is backing him up. He is a developmental prospect that Wentz gets to help mold along with Peterson. And he's not breathing down his throat. You get him on a rookie salary, I think it's four years, six million, which means you're not spending 15, five to 15 million a year on a backup quarterback like Foles or McCown, and you could spend that money elsewhere. Um, who is next? Davion Taylor. They've get a linebacker who could actually go sideline to sideline. Kayvon Wallace is a steal. He was rated a second-round talent but fell. Um, he was PFF's highest-graded safety or highest-graded safety in coverage and had the best tackle percentage, so least amount of missed tackles. So if you swap the Hurts and Wallace pick, it's, a per it's an awesome draft. And then you get all of the four, uh, three, five guys and John, High and John Hightower, who I think is what they see Mac Hollins 
as what he as was what Mac Hollins could have been, Quez Watkins, who was just a speed demon, and also decently tall for being speedy. Um, anyway, I could. I could go into in depth with each of the prospects. I enjoyed the draft. I liked the draft. I think they knocked it out of the park. B plus to A minus. Uh, Mike Kosicki with Tua getting drafted. This is numbered 25 of 25, eBay 101 bookend there. Uh, with Tua getting drafted, I think he played well at Penn State. He's going to have a chance to break out. I did have a Miles Boykin uh, Panini Black. Out of 75, but it was only two color. This is four color. I got this for 12 bucks. It is 63 out of 75. Did not have an AJ Brown black. I now have an AJ Brown black, number two out of 35. Two colors, 28 bucks. And then an Andy Isabella, two color, one of one swatch autographs, uh, RPA, if you want to call it that. I think that's part of the glove. Uh, this was 30 bucks. I won it in a bid on eBay. So I thought this was a steal because I think Andy Isabella has so much upside with that new offense they have over there in Arizona. So 2013 Absolute Football. I opened this before. I believe I got a sweet, sweet, sweet Manti Teo four-color RPA. Um, 2019 stuff has gone up in price. Uh, for example, Select went from like 230, 240-ish to like the 330, 350-ish range. Plates and Patches went from like 120 to 160. Um, so that stuff's going up. I noticed like the 2018 products, averages on the products on the Hobby Boxes may be up 10 to 15 bucks. So 2013, if you're looking for a cheap break, is always, always always good um 2013 black is still one of my favorite products but absolute is not too far behind that i picked this box up from steel city collectibles on ebay for 59 dollars, i believe so you get uh four autos or mem cards per box with at least two autographs it says it behind the panini thing there um i forget how many cards there are i think there's five cards per pack so 20 packs per box also Scratch to win bronze edition from Steel City Collectibles. Normally, I don't buy from the website. So, let's see what we got here. Should I get that well? All right. So, we got a $5 gift card. If you want that, that's yours. I'm not going to use it. It's not going to go to waste. One of y'all can have it. Uh, first come, first serve with that. Thanks for watching the video, whoever got that and being the first on it. All right. So, yeah, there's that. Um, obviously, if it doesn't work, someone else got it and it's been used. Um, because I guarantee I will not be using that. Because uh, I like going with eBay for some reason more than websites. Um, I like... I like buying uh, eBay gift cards with cash and then using the gift cards rather than my credit card online for hobbies. If it's necessary stuff, I'll use my credit card online, but yeah. I know, weird. I'm only 25, but I have an old school thought process with that. Um, but the interesting thing about Absolute that I enjoy is each pack gets its own little mini sleeve-like thing um empty box and yeah i was right five cards per pack let's go get my fillers out one two three four hits and you know what let's get fancy i'm feeling fancy Put our hits there. All right. First pack. A 2013, I mean, you could get like D-Hop, Zach Ertz. Uh, it's not the best draft class, which is why the product is a bit cheaper. But, I mean, 
If you're looking to break something, if you're just starting off, why not? So, hit is on the bottom. Is it going to be an RPA? I don't know. That's not it. All right. Jamal Charles, Eli Manning, AJ Green. We got a Sam Montgomery rookie, 294 out of 499. Rookie number there. And then the hit out of this one, wait, okay, yeah, those are supposed to be like that. The hit out of this one is going to be Andre Ellington. Ooh, five out of 25. That is a sick, sick patch. I tell you what, Absolute has some cool stuff. Absolute Prime, five out of 25. Cut from worn slash used by the rook at the rookie premiere. Three color uh, O maybe with an N or a K. <clears throat> oh, okay, rookie. Yeah, probably. That's sweet. All right, next pack. This one probably has an auto in it. It does have an auto in it. Uh-oh, which one is it? Okay. It's that one. MJD. Steven Jackson. We get a Dustin Hopkins rookie. 104 out of 499. A Ryan Nassib rookie inserts. Then our hit is a Ryan Broyles Absolute Ink, 65 out of 99. Not the best draft class, um, like I said, but we can still get some nice cards. Um, next pack. If this is the RPA, I'm going to try to see and save it for last. Um, I think... The odds are you most likely will get an RPA. That is a thick card. Let's see. Is it an RPA? It's a dolphin. All right. I'm going to assume that's the RPA. So, you know, what? we'll just put that there. And if it's not the RPA, oh, this is thin. So what, do we, do we maybe possibly get a, uh... nope, oh, that's an auto. All right, so maybe we got three autos. We did get three autos. Um, we'll do this one. I like making things way more complicated than they have to be, apparently. All right, so, uh, Mark, uh, Marcus Wheaton, 53 out of 99. I might save that one for last because I saw what it was. Uh, Darren McFadden, DeMarco Murray, Antonio Brown. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we'll do this one first. Why not? The Dolphin, Dion Jordan, 16 out of 49 with the sick, sick patch. Two sick patches. Two color. One, two, three color, two color. 16 out of 49. Probably just cut from the rookie premiere. Yep. Personally used from the rookie premiere. That's a sweet looking card right there. And then the last pack here. We got Calvin Johnson, rookie Bjorn 
Uh, Bjorn, I'm sure I'm going to go with that. Bjorn Werner, 20 out of 4.99. Ryan Tannehill, Big Ben. And our hit appears to be a third auto. eBay, one of one, 25 out of 25. Who's that? Oh, Mark Ingram. I think that's a, is that a vet hit? Pretty sure that's a vet hit. Because he was drafted in what, 2010, 2008? All right, so he got three autos out of it. And a sick Mark Ingram hit. So overall, I'd say that's a pretty dang good box. We got the Andre Ellington three color patch, rookie patch, numbered five out of 25. The Ryan Broyles, 65 out of 99 auto. I don't know if that's a rookie or not, because it doesn't say it. We get a Mark Ingram, Absolute Inc., 25 out of 25. And then this Dion Jordan, three color RPA. Sweet. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to keep up with everything I have rolling out on this channel, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, etc. Um, if you do, great. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that stops by to watch my videos. Um, even if it's just for 30 seconds and you skip to the hits and skip through me talking, that's fine. You're still spending a little bit of time, a little bit of time with me. And time is valuable, so I do appreciate it. Uh, stay safe out there. Um, should have some other videos coming uh, soon. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to stay sloppy, my friends.